Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is very exciting for me. I get to continue on a tag that um, my best friend, Twinsy, um, Anya Stanford, had done a video, totally surprised me about it, and then passed the torch to me to continue it on. And so what it is is um, someone that inspires you and has influenced you to buy certain products and trying to do as much of a full face as possible with those products. And I have mine all laid out here and I'll explain them all to you. But before I get started, I want to do it now because a lot of times I forget to tag people. So, and I always have to insert it into my video. So I'm going to just do it right now. So I'm going to tag other people that actually do inspire me and that they may want to do this tag about somebody that inspires them. It doesn't have to be about me, just whoever inspires you. Nona at My So Called Life 1977, um, Katie at Tattooed Mama, and Beth with Mama Vates. I want to tag you three to, you guys inspire me in many different ways, and I just adore you guys, and I would like to see who inspires you and you do this tag also. So, and then let us know. And this is something that um, Anya Stamper has um, made and created and passed on. So if you would tag her, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, I'll have Anya's information all down below so that you can check out her tag video. But let's get started, okay? All right, so the first thing that we always start with with me is putting on my eye base and so the one thing that she has inspired me with but some of these things before I even get a chance to buy it she already sends it to me so she knew that I was very inspired by her Mac um, paint stick for her eyes and she's like she knew I was looking for one and she's like let me just send you mine or send you one she had backups so she sent me one so I'm going to use that for my eye base, so that's where we're going to start off because this is definitely a Anya inspired item. Um, I found the Maybelline white um, cover stick and really it was because I had seen her use this one so I improvised and find and find and found the Maybelline one. And then Anya's like, nope, try this one. And she's right. Like the one, the Maybelline stick is a little bit more emollient and it doesn't dry down as much. And so that can cause some problems with your shadows. But usually I pack on my shadows enough to where it doesn't matter. Um, so does Anya. <laughs> we both like a lot of pigment. Um, so anyways, so this is a better option. It is more expensive, but it is a better option than the Maybelline cover stick that I use because this one really does dry down really well and helps with your shadows. Okay, so there's the first product. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to get into is my eyeshadow. And um, this I saw her when she was just showing me her products one day. And then she did a um, shop my stash with chip moment with chip. And um, they both used this palette, and I was like, mm, I'm going to have to find that palette and get it. And so I went on Macari, looked it up, and sure enough, I found one really inexpensively. It's an Urban Decay, and it looks like a little, it's so pretty. I guess the what Anya told me, the um, ideal behind this palette was that you could pop the shadows out and see they're in this little case you can pop the shadows completely out that whole tray and then it becomes oops sorry but it becomes a um a jewelry box which i think is genius idea um I, i'll probably never pop the shadows out because this is such a beautiful palette like so pretty yeah now you can see the it, it's gorgeous and it's so pretty so we are going to give this one a go we're going to create a look with this one a look and so I'm just so excited to use this. I think I've used it maybe one. Oh, here, look, even I noticed now there's a little thing right there just to pop those shadows out. That is pretty cool. I'm just going to do it. Hopefully I can stick it back in there just so you guys can see. Oh, it comes out easily. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that. And it's velvet in there. That's genius, you guys. All right, so I'm going to put that back in there. 
but that is neat. I like that idea. Okay. I have pinks on, so I don't know if that's going to inspire me to go more pink. Maybe a pink and purple look. I don't know. But I'm really liking these greens. I don't know. Um, oh, there's a really pretty, like, navy with a green shift. So maybe, let's see what we can do here. Let me put on some ears because my hair is a mess. Like, it's so long. Like, usually my hair normally only just, like, goes to, like, it, like, cuts off like right there and like curves up so this is all extra hair and then this is just out of control and it's darker around the roots <laughs> I just can't wait to see my hair dresser again because I do them my own purple but I can't do anything till she takes care of the roots for me so we're waiting patiently waiting Okay, so I think I'm gonna do something. We're gonna do we're gonna do a thing, okay? So my eyes are primed. Let's go into prank as the color, and it's like a navy with a green like micro glitter in it. Hopefully the micro glitter shows up and it's not just navy. But nice and dark this was such a fun little tag I was so surprised because she never said anything to me about it and then I watched her video and I was like oh that's so sweet and um we definitely do feed each other's addiction and one person I would have tagged alongside of the three that I tagged would have been Claire Barrera because that girl every time I watch her channel I'm just like why are you trying to kill me with purchases? Because, like, she gets me so talked into everything. So, Claire Barrera, I always tease her about how she's my enabler. Like, I have to stay away from her whenever I'm on buying restrictions. And I'm just now getting off of one. I mean, like, I still am, but girl got her stimulus check. So you know, pay some bills and then do a little shopping. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being, being a dork. Okay. So, but you guys have came to expect it, right? Um, and I'm sure by now, if you didn't like it, you have left. Uh, and you still might. I don't know. But <laughs> now that is navy, and I don't see any of the teal. So a little disappointing, but we're going to add some more shadows in there, and hopefully it'll become less disappointing. Okay. So I'm thinking, why don't we do, let's go into the purple. Let's, okay. So the one I just used was prank, and I'm going to go into omen. here. Drag it into that navy and try to lighten that up a little bit. Because I was hoping it would be a little lighter than that. Okay. Keep forgetting which one I dipped into. Okay, yeah, it is a navy, but you can see like a hint of teal in it when you look real closely. But I definitely don't see like the glitter. But that omen layered over top of it is really pretty. I mean, anybody that knows Anya and has seen her collection and um, you've probably been inspired a time or two because... Her collection is massive. Um, you probably, I mean, she hasn't done a collection video yet. She's working on it. And um, it's amazing. It's an amazing collection. I'm so proud of her. I think that um, this is something she loves. And, you know, people don't get it because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't understand. You'll never get through that much makeup. And why do you have that? You know, and you don't get it unless you don't have hobbies. Like, I mean, it's a hobby. It's a collection. It's something that, um, 
you do it because you love it and you want to collect it. It's it, She doesn't have to use it all. That's not the purpose in it. And so it's not like, a, you know, like a necessity to like, she's not purchasing it for, out of necessity. She's purchasing it out of its collection. And I get that because I'm that way too. And um, so it, it has been um, so exciting to know that she's got this video coming up soon because I am so excited to see her full collection. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to take this, which is also something. Okay. So this is a part of something I'm going to show you anyway. So let's just show it to you before I put it on and I'll talk about it. So the Pac-Man set was something that I saw her purchase and I was like, Oh my goodness. I'm going to go check. I'm going to go find that. I'm going to go find that and buy it because I am a huge Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man fan. Like I am an arcade player. Like I wouldn't do like on a game station or anything like that. Like I'm an arcade player and I, I rock. Like that's one thing I do very well is play that game. And, um, so when I saw this come out, I was like, I have to have that. I have, it's makeup and Pac-Man. Like how does it not like be in my collection. And so I, I started looking on at Walgreens and CVS and we had it nowhere. And so I'm like, okay, let me send you some money. Would you pick me up one and send it to me? I'll send you for, you know, shipping and everything else. And she picked it up and guess what? She would not let me pay for it, but it had these brushes in it. I have a bigger like powder brush or blush brush. And then this brush here, and then, the, which I'm using, so that's why I'm explaining it to you. These little bronzing beads was in it. And there's an eyeshadow palette. There was lip glosses. There are the um, blushes, um, which I'm going to be using in this look also. So even though she inspired me because I saw it, um, I didn't get to purchase it. So it wasn't something I purchased because she sent it to me. So there's a few items that are like that in here. So just, just giving you a little heads up, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take this brush from Miss Anya, and I'm going to go into, let's go into, we're going to mix Backlash with this one here, because I want to tone this pink down in, into this pink. I want to kind of match it to kind of what I'm wearing, and so I'm going to go into that brighter pink first, and I'm going to layer that softer pink over top of it, and let's see here layer that on this side also there we go and then I'm going to take that um bordadello and take it over top like I did on the other side that is so pretty I'm loving that okay using the same brush just to kind of fan out that blue make it softer All right so on to the next thing. We're going to do the color up underneath, but first I'm going to do my lashes. And so I'm going to curl my lashes. This is something that Anya doesn't have to do. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't have to do this makes me jealous because <laughs> it's not the most fun thing to do, but without doing it on my lashes, it would be like I have no lashes. So... And if I put on false lashes, I still have to do it because my lashes like point downward, which is just so awkward and so weird. But it's me. Kind of suits my personality. Awkward and weird. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go into the Colossal. I got this in a uh, sample from somebody. I think I got it in one of my giveaway boxes is what it was. Um, and Anya said that she likes this uh, mascara. So she didn't like inspire me to get it, but she told me it was good and she's right. I like it on my lashes too. I, I probably wouldn't wear it by itself. I'd probably layer it with something else just to give my lashes more volume, but it works really good for a base uh, coat when I'm applying my lashes. So it works for what I need it to work for. Okay. 
let that dry a few minutes and I'm going to go into piggy bank because you all know that I love ColourPop liners and I love ColourPop lip liners. But I didn't have this one. And I kept seeing her wear it over and over and over and over. She's like, piggy bank, piggy bank, piggy bank, piggy bank. And I was just like, I need piggy bank. So you better believe. I pretty much got their whole set now. So yeah, piggy bank had to come home to me. Okay. So now we are on to lashes. And so I am going to, and she doesn't wear lashes. Um, it's just not, I know she could do it, but she's just not her thing. And that's okay because not everything is going to be everybody's thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's my thing and it's became more my thing since I started my channel. Um, get this lash glue here. Put it on the back of my hand like I normally do. I might not be showing this just for the sake of time. We'll see when I edit. I'm using the Powerpuff Girl lashes. Okay, so there's the lashes. And I'm going to go, since I have the lashes on, wipe off the glue. So I don't put the, you know how many times I've kept the glue on the back of my hand and I've touched my outfit? Yeah, let's not talk about that. Okay, so let's go in on the lower lash line with some shadow. I used to not wear that much or that often shadow on my lower lash line. Now I can't even do a look without doing it. Like it does not feel right to me. It just feels uneven. So I'm going to go and go ahead and take some of that navy with the blue. Well, let me just tell you the name of it, okay? Prank. I'm going to go a little bit with prank and take that right there. And then I, I just want to do something different. It may be a fail, but I'm going to go in with deep in, which is a teal. I want to put that right in the center. It's just like a little pop of different color. I like it. And then follow it up with some pink. I like it. Okay. And then put that other lighter pink over top of it and sheer it out. Yeah. Glad I tried it. I like it. Okay. So same thing on this side. Okay. So there is the palette to show you. There is my eye look. And this is going to be a long video because i got to show you all my products. <laughs> so, okay, I was looking for the lid, but it goes underneath the palette. So I'm going to put that aside there. We're going to go on to the next thing, and that would be my inner corner. And you all know that I, I love my Urban Decay glitter gels that go in the center of my, or into the, tier, you know, the inner eye. Um... Anya saw those and fell in love with them too. She bought them. But the one, I had them all except for one, and that was distortion. And she's like, do you have distortion? And I'm like, no, I don't think I do. She goes, you have to get distortion. So I picked it up, and she's right. I needed distortion. It's like a iridescent. Um, and I don't know where it's been all my whole life because <laughs> this one actually is my favorite, and I didn't even have it. So I'm so glad that she was like, um, you need to go pick up distortion. I use this one now than I do any of the other ones. Well, actually, the Party Monster I use a lot, too. So there, there's that. Isn't that just some gorgeousness right there? Yep, there we go. All right, so there's Distortion. So there's another one that she let me know about. And then, okay, I'm going to take my eyeliner in. This isn't a product from her. It's just um, one I pulled to do the rest of my lashes. And then, let's see here. What would be the next 
thing that we would need to do. Okay, so I'll talk about it first before I apply it, which is because this is kind of funny. Um, she has inspired me to do um, glow recipe products because she loves glow recipe products and I got this watermelon mist. I don't think she has this one yet, but glow recipe I knew was good because she 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 tells me it's good. So um, I decided to get their mist. And so I'm going to do a pre-mist and it smells like real watermelon and it's delicious. I love it. Like I could smell that all day, all day, every day. Okay. So I don't think she has this yet, but Glow Recipe, I knew she, she had thumbs up for it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm, and why I say that's funny is because the girl loves her some setting sprays, okay? And she uses like three or four different ones throughout her makeup routine, and she does layer after layer after layer after layer, and so I'm doing the same thing. So I haven't put on my makeup yet. I put on my first layer. There's more to come. Okay, so I'll show you that later. I'll point. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so um, we are going to go in with foundation, which I didn't have a foundation that she's talked me into. Actually, when we first became friends, she's gotten more into dewy set, dewy type products since we started talking. Um, but when we first met, like she only had like matte. She did matte everything and I did not do matte anything. I did all dewy. So um, I kind of, you know, got her to the dewy side a little bit more, but um, so I don't really have a foundation that she's re recommended to me, but I do have a puff of Lure Puff and I know this looks dirty, but it's just stained. I've washed it. So we're going to use a puff on my face with a foundation. So I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydrate, Hydrating Rescue. Um, and we're going to use the puff on the face, okay? And I do enjoy the way the puff looks on my face. I, I do. I want to get a beauty, not a beauty blender, but a, um, what's it called? Blendiful. Hati Blendiful. It's on my list. And her new palette, if she'd ever make one. I know this quarantine's putting everybody's launches on hold. I do love the puffs. This is not made. This puff is not made for, um, Makeup, I mean, it's for powder, but not foundation. So I just was doing what I could. I mean, I still like it, but I know that having one that's actually made for this is going to be a better deal. Plus, this one soaks up all my foundation, so I don't use it very often because the other one is made to where it doesn't suck up all of your foundation. So it's kind of wasting my foundation, but you do what you got to do until launches <laughs> start up again, you know? Hopefully when this all is over with, hopefully everybody's going to launch everything all at once and then I'm just like, what do I buy? What now? Can't do that. There's that. And the other thing that she influenced me on, because this girl never puts powder on her face. Like, I'm too dry, and there's just no reason for me to put powder on my face. But then I see everybody use powder, and I'm like, okay, well, I want to be like the cool kids. And I want to wear powder, too. And so I had, I had a conversation with Anya one day, and I'm like, I want to wear powder, too. <gasps> But it's also drying for my face. And she's like, okay, get Hourglass. And if you don't like it, I'll buy it from you. And it's the Hourglass Veil. And it is seriously the only powder that I've been able to kind of wear. Still, like, I have to have a really good skin day to use it um, and be very. So I'm just going to pat a little bit on my face because she she inspired me. But today is not the day, okay? to put anything around these eyes. Like today's not the day people, today's not the day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat a little bit on my cheeks. Right here is where my makeup wears off the most. And so I'm gonna layer it right there. 
and also it won't show as many little fine lines. If I get it up in here, it's like, oh no, what did you just do? Um, so just gonna layer a little bit on my cheeks, maybe a little bit on the tip of my chin here where it likes to wear off and maybe right there in the crevice of my nose. Because you know, I think everybody has problems in that area. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's as far as the powder goes on my face. All right, so this is good stuff though. I'm telling you, it's good. Because it's the best powder I've ever used, even though I can't use it around my eyes where I want to. And I've tried just about everything out there. So I'm just letting you know. Because I've really, really tried hard to use powder and be like the cool kids and it doesn't work. Okay, so now that I have the powder on, we're going to go in with our second installment of setting spray. Once again, I saw the Gerard Cosmetics setting spray, the mint chocolate chip, with her. And I already have the mint chocolate chip. I've already used the mint chocolate chip. And then I got this one from my sweet friend, Miss Clara Barrera. And so, but this, the reason why I bought the mint chocolate chip was because of her, but I've used it up. So we're going to use the setting spray from the Slay All Day Rich Luxe in a dreamsicle. <laughs> okay. I, I was going to say an orange sickle because it smells like orange, like orange cream sickle, but it's dream sickle. Okay. Okay. So this is my, my second installment of, uh, setting spray, it's setting spray because of you. So we're going to melt that. Oh, it smells so good, but don't get in your mouth. It, mm -mm, no, no, it's not your dewy set. Um, so don't eat it. So I'm going to set that powder into my face. Got to say, my foundation looks pretty good. I'm liking it. There's that. And then the next thing we're going to move on to, boys and girls, is bronzer, which I never wore bronzer either or contour or anything like that. And... I kept seeing her wear it, and I'm like, it looks really good on her. I need to try it. And I've tried a few, and I just really didn't like it. But, again, I already told you she sent me the Pac-Man set. I do like this one on my face. So we're going to give this one a go. Okay, so just tap your brush into them, and then give a little color, go underneath the chin and back up onto the other side, and then bring it up here on the forehead to kind of warm things up. All right, so there's that. I love that color on me. This is one that, you know, I can wear and I think it blends in really nicely. Because I, you know, I don't like those harsh lines and stuff. This is not me. Not gonna ever be me. Okay, so the next thing would be the blush, which would be the Pac-Man collection once again. Okay, so I'm going to go into this one up here. It's kind of a really pretty dusty pink. And there we go. All right, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and do my brows off camera because this is something that is I do that's different than her. So we're just going to do this off camera. All right, guys, so we're on to the next item, which is highlighter, which Jeffree Star is her thing, and she loves her Duffer Star, and I got the Supreme Frost and Hypothermia. Um, she loves all of them, so it doesn't really matter which one I get. She likes it, so I got this from her because I really, truly um, was not a Jeffree Star fan until I started my channel, and then I became a Jeffree Star fan because I saw what everybody was loving, and then when I met Anya, she had so much Jeffree Star. I was like, wow. So just seeing her put on highlighter and stuff, I'm like, yeah, I think I need one of those highlighters. So, so I'm going to go into this hyperthermia. It's gorgeous. Just magical. Magical. It's gorgeous, guys. Okay. I don't put it on my nose. I 
I have a wider nose and it's a bigger nose. So the last, I want to contour it, but I do not want to highlight it. I don't want it to be, you know, front and center. It doesn't need any help. Okay, it doesn't need any more help being front and center. I don't have one of those cute little button noses where you can go, oh, no, that's not me. Okay, so the last thing is I'm going to line my lips really quick uh, just to give them some color, and then I'll show you what we're doing next. Still not the color I'm looking for, but let's go ahead and put gloss on it anyways. Okay. So Jeffree Star Gloss, she is a gloss girl, 100,000%. And Jeffree Star is her jam. This I got in the mystery box that I got last time. And it is beautiful. Instantly found out why she absolutely loves this stuff, and I love it too. So this is the gloss, Jeffree Star Gloss in Ice Cold. Look at that. Yes. Perfect. So there's my gloss. So pretty. It has like blues and pinks and purples and just so pretty. I put it on kind of thick so I don't want it to stick together. No, that's not a good look for anybody. Okay, so here is, oh wait, one more thing. One more thing. Cannot forget the third setting spray that she got me into because y'all know I don't like Morphe, okay? Like, I mean, you know me for any amount of time. If you're my true follower, you're still watching this video because it's really long and um, nobody... You know, just don't don't wrap me out or anything. But Morphe's not my it's not my thing. It's not my jam. But she's like, you need to get yourself some of this Morphe setting spray. It is freaking amazing. And I'm like, mm, I don't like Morphe. She goes, you're gonna like it. Just try it. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll try it. And guess what? I got some Morphe setting spray. And she's right. It's absolutely amazing. So shh, don't tell anybody that I like something for Morphe, okay? Okay. So, but it's not their eyeshadow. So, but I did get a palette. And a giveaway, and I'm gonna try it because it looks like my kind of palette. So they may stay tuned. I might be crossing over like I did with the meant to be palette with ColourPop. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the best mister on the market, hands down, it's Morphe. They they did something right. Okay, so pounce that back in, used uh, setting spray three times in my look. So I am as good as Anya with her beauty guru tips and voila, crazy hair. All right. This is my final look using all the things that inspire me with Anya Stamper. She's either inspired me to get them or buy them, or I looked for them and she sent them to me. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I tagged um, Nona and um, Katie from Tattoo Mama and um, uh, Beth with um, Mama Vape. So you guys find somebody that inspires you and do this video for them and then keep it going. Keep it tagging and link Anya in your description box just so that they know who created this tag. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you guys all have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye. I gave you my heart.